Sri Lanka now travel mounts for the country as the country's public transport has come to a halt owing to the island's island nations receiving fuel reserve. The country is left with less than a day's worth of fuel. Sri Lankan energy minister said that the nation's petrol reserves were about 4,000 tons and the next shipment is expected between July 22nd and 23rd. The cash strap nation had already announced a two-week halt to all fuel sales except for essential services to save petrol and diesel for emergencies last week. Amid deepening crisis, Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa dialed Russian President Vladimir Putin seeking credit support from Russia to import fuel. As the country has exhausted its reserves, foreign reserves, making it difficult for them to import even the most basic essentials like food and medicine. Now, in a tweet, the Lankan president said that his talks with the Russian counterpart were productive. The duo discussed strengthening bilateral relations. While the island nation continues to struggle with acute food shortage, the helpless citizens have changed their mode of transportation, with residents hitting the roads on bicycles. Adding to the Island Nations woes, Lanka's central bank has warned of 80% inflation and a painful recession. The country has raised its interest rates one percentage point, marking the second sharp hike in the last three months. Lanka's deposit rate now stands at 14.5%, while its lending rate stands at 15.5%. Officials have said that the hike was aimed at containing runaway prices, which were forecast to rise 80% by year-end and reduce any build-up of demand pressures in the shattered economy. Meanwhile, the anti-government clamour continues to grow as hundreds of protesters gathered near the parliament building in Colombo to launch their alleged final push of the struggle to topple the incumbent government. The Lankan authorities used water cannons, tear gas to disperse the agitated crowd. This as Lanka is reeling under unprecedented economic crisis, months-long shortages of fuel, power, food, other items. It has forced people to stand in unending queues for days. Even the Lankan doctors say the entire health system is at the brink of collapse and Rajapaksa's various moves, including securing financial support from India and China, have failed to end the Allen Nation's woes. The nation that announced bankruptcy earlier this week, it's now eyeing a $3 billion bailout package by the International Monetary Fund to end its mounting troubles. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.